Wow! <laughs> I need to chill out. <laughs> I love those hand movements. I am not prepared. I am not prepared. I am not prepared. This literally came through like 20 seconds ago and I am not prepared. The official Paralyze team has made a brand new team. <laughs> I'm like plugging in all my stuff right now. This is like super serious. The Paralyze team has made a tweet. Oh my God, let me pause this video. <laughs> I'm like so excited. I don't even know what to freaking say right now. I was just thinking to myself this morning when I woke up. It's been a minute since we've had anything Paralyzed related. I wonder when Paralyzed is going to post something. Everything Paralyzed related has been for build, buy, or for the Paramaker. Like nothing has been live mode related and we know they've been working on it for so long. And now we actually have a sneak peek. Live mode animation sneak peek. We thought we'd share a few of the live mode animations we made for our Paris so far. Learn more about these animations animations in this now public Patreon post. So they post a video clip that's a minute and 30 seconds. Without further ado, we are just going to dive straight into this. Oh my gosh. Oh, the walk animation. Oh, the shadows. It looks so freaking good. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I need to chill out. Whoa! Oh, cool! They're good! Serene. Sobbing. The nose rub. Okay, I need to pause this. What I'm loving most are the hand gestures too and the way that the body, like the entire body just moves. It isn't just the facial expressions moving and then the body is as stiff as a rock. Everything is moving and everything is fluid. I love this. I'm so happy. They're finally giving us something. Disgust. <laughs> I love those hand movements. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the shakiness <laughs> details are so good. Wow. The finger tapping. I love all the little things. It seriously is the little things. I gotta watch this again, guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to pay attention to even more smaller details now. is so fluid it just flows also look at the hair physics yeah paralyzed has freaking hair physics and you can see the hair bouncing and moving as she's you know twisting and moving her body and moving her head i'm just i'm in awe right now completely That's like the best one. Look at the angle. Her fist. My gosh, it's so detailed. One more time. The movement of the eyes and eyebrows too, it really conveys the emotion. Maxis, pack your bags. It's time to move out. <laughs> Let me shut up. I'm only just kidding. I am only just kidding, but I need to see what people are saying about this. I really have to see it. Yup. This is what I expected. Everyone's loving it. Everyone's loving it. It's so beautiful. It really, really is. It's so impressive. The details are just so, oh, the chef's kiss. Chef's freaking kiss. Is my dog about to puke? Are you okay, buddy? If you're about to puke, can you not do it on my shoes, please? <laughs> wow. 
it's incredible. So incredible. All right, let's click this link and see where this directs to. I want to read more about this here. Exclusive animation sneak peek number two. Hi, Alice here. These last months, I have been having fun creating locomotion and emotion animations for our para folks, and today we'd like to share some of them with you all. I've already shared many animations in a past Patreon post, so today's the second edition of my animation showcase videos. And in case you're wondering, the music in today's video is one of the tracks that Andre recently made to try different musical directions for Paralyze. I love it. I love it. It's so nostalgic. It definitely gives that old nostalgic Sims vibe. Not saying it's super similar to it, but you just get that same warm feeling that you got playing those old games. That's the same vibe I get. What we have to keep in mind, the goal for the animations in Paralyze is to make them good looking, of course, realistic, but also generic. That last point is very important because one animation isn't created for a specific para, but all of them. Therefore, they must fit all body types, and that's true. Our animations are also essential in giving our characters life and personality, so generic doesn't mean that we want them to look bland. Doing it this way also allows us to save time to create other various animations that will give more life to your future paras. Here's a small example when I created our run animation and tried it on Maggie. Our first female parafolk, it looked great, but then I tested it on Marvin, our most recent male parafolk. Something about his movement just made him seem very feminine. And this is not a specificity we want to be applied to every para. Later on, we'll be considering giving you the option to choose from your parafolk's own walk style. It might also be impacted by numerous things like emotions, needs, or even your para folks personality look at that depth that is what i'm talking about locomotion animations in the first part of the video you can see three of our main locomotion animations a walk a jog and a run because they are the ones you will see the most locomotion animations are very important this is why i like taking a bit more time to create them and even start over completely if they don't turn out the way we envisioned i started over for the walk jog and run animations but it was the best believe me the goal here was to have generic movements that have to look good at the right speed. For example, we need a walking animation that is fast enough and has big enough steps so the parafolk will cover a good distance. This way, your parafolks won't take forever to go from A to B. Emotion animations. Edit. The uncomfortable, intense animations are swapped in the video. Interesting. In the second part of the video, you can see our animations for some of the principal range of human emotions like surprise, sad, stressed, and so on. These will be used as emotion reactions of course but also as reactions to events or during conversations as you know we are starting to focus on the live mode so we will share more details on this later so they're really really getting into live mode now which is super exciting because that means that over time we'll be able to see more of it while emotion animations also have to follow our main goals we cannot be 100% realistic and we may need to exaggerate them a bit as the emotions need to be distinctive and quickly comprehend by the player. Fortunately, we'll have a variety of different indicators on your pair folks' emotions and states, such as the interface and sounds that will help you understand what is going on. Wow. Here's an example. In real life, you would probably never see someone shaking from fear, but as you can see, I decided to add shakes in our first scared and emotion anyway. In my opinion, that was a good way to make the animation clear without being too cartoony, but for each case, we have to find the right balance, and that's true. That's good that they're aware of that as well. We will also have have facial animations that, like the name suggests, will only impact the parafolks' faces. These will temporarily take over the parafolks' facial expressions if they have a significant change of mood, except if an action needs its own expression. In case you missed it, I explained this further in this Patreon post from last year. That is all for me today. I had a lot of fun working on these new animations, and I really hope you like them. If you want to know more, I could write another Patreon post going more in depth about the animation process. How does it work? What software do you need? Are real life video references really important? Yes, they are, and so on. Let us know in the comments below. I would also love to read your thoughts on emotion animation, so please be sure to participate and share your vision in our new monthly community brainstorming emotions and mood in the comment section of last week's Patreon post or on the Discord or Reddit. Happy Friday, Alice. That is so exciting, you guys. It's so beautiful. I'm just, I'm so excited. Jogging looks a little too slow smooth maybe add a bit more bounce to it so it looks less like a glide i thought it looked pretty good but it's also a good thing that they're getting some constructive feedback as well them posting 
all this stuff early, they're able to really change and fine tune everything to make the best possible game by release. And that's really what we want. I'm really into the music. Like if anything has really got my eye or my ear, I guess I should say, it's absolutely 100% the music. Even without like paying attention to the video, just listening to it, it sounds so nostalgic and it It sounds so wholesome and happy and it just makes me want to sit in this game for hours and play and play and play. But wow guys, the emotions, the animations. It's truly beautiful. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for this game. I cannot wait to see what they're going to be giving us. The worlds that we're going to be able to create, the lives we're going to be able to live out and I'm just, I'm so excited. Now, for the rest of this video, let's just sit here and enjoy this video. Wow. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. I love you. Share your thoughts below. I'm going to be reading and responding to you guys today. I love you. Take care. Starting now and for every single upload in June during Pride Month, I'll be raising money for the Born This Way Foundation. In case you didn't know, the Born This Way Foundation supports the mental health of young people and works with them to build a kinder and braver world. Through high impact programming, youth led conversations, and strategic cross sectorial partnerships, the foundation aims to make kindness cool, validate the emotions of young people, and eliminate the stigma surrounding mental health. You can learn more at bornthisway.foundation. This video was brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. If you'd like to join my community over there, a link is below. Thank you for watching.